Since the start of this pandemic, there have been several published reports in medical literature about a link or possible link between a person's blood type and their risk of developing COVID-19. We'll break it down. I'll tell you the latest data, how you should think about it, and whether or not you should even think about getting this test to help stratify your risk of severe disease. A little bit of hematology background. Everyone has a blood type and in general, um, they go by ABO typing and then your RH status. And in total, there are eight possible different blood types someone can have because you can have type A blood, type B blood, type AB blood, or type O. And then for each of those four categories, you can have a positive or negative RH status. What gives us our designation, if you will, in terms of our ABO blood type has to do with the surface of the red blood cells and the antigen grouping that is on the surface of those cells. Way back in March, there was a study released out of China. It was not peer reviewed, looked at about 2,100 people um, with and without COVID-19 and looked at their blood types. And this particular study showed that of the people who were positive for COVID-19, 38% of them had type A blood compared with 26% of them who had type O blood. And then they broke them down into how many were severe cases, how many were uh, healthy. And so that started this controversy about whether or not there is an association between different blood types and a person's risk of, in particular, developing severe COVID-19 disease. A recent study done here in the United States by the Mass General uh, Hospital in Boston and Harvard Medical School got a lot of attention. I want to read to you some of the key takeaways. This was a multi-institutional study that found no relationship between a person's blood type and COVID-19 severity. They also found that type B positive and AB positive blood types had a greater chance of testing positive for COVID-19. So there are a lot of variables and factors um, into those findings. Quote from a doctor in the Division of Vascular and Endovascular Surgery at Mass General was, we showed through a multi-institutional study that there is no reason to believe being a certain ABO blood type will lead to increased disease severity, which we defined as requiring mechanical ventilation or intubation or leading to death. The two leading theories are that um, the genes that code for a person's blood type are located very close to other genes that have to do with our immune system response. So that's one theory. Um, there also is a theory that the blood type of a person's red blood cells has to do with their antibody function. And we've heard a lot about antibody protection when it comes to SARS-CoV-2. And another one has to do with the ACE receptor, which is how the coronavirus actually enters our cells. Um, is there a connection there? So the bottom line at this point, no one knows. Um, it is still data that is based on association and observation, not yet cause and effect or biologic uh, causation. And we, we need that to be able to really kind of make a firm decision and answer um, in terms of recommendations in medicine and science. For people who are intrigued with this from an intellectual or scientific or medical standpoint, by all means, it should be studied. But for the actual person, the individual, my patients who are asking about it, friends, viewers, um, it's really important to understand that how is it gonna change your behavior? That should be the real question that you're asking. And since the answer is it shouldn't change your behavior at all at this point, and furthermore, there's nothing we can do about our blood types, my medical opinion is that this should be relegated to the realm of clinical and scientific and medical curiosity and ongoing research rather than something that you and I will use in our day-to-day -day life.